Once the crawler is fully configured to the user preferences using the remote handset, the crawler can then be loaded into the pipe. This is achieved in one of two ways. You can either load the crawler using the remote handset. Alternatively, on the rear of the e-box, there's a forward and reverse jog, which allows the crawler to easily be loaded into the pipe. Prior to loading the crawler into the pipe, the operator needs to measure the distance from the emission point to the centre of the detector box. This is then marked on the outside of the pipeline to position the magnetope back from the weld to allow the crawler to accurately locate. To start the crawler travelling down the pipeline, the operator will signal using the magnetope from the rear of the crawler to the front twice. This will start the crawler moving in a forward direction. As the crawler drives along and approaches the magnetope, it will first drive past and then reverse and then stop itself underneath the weld. The accuracy of this position is 5mm. To initiate an exposure, the operator then removes the magnetope at a 90 degree angle to the pipeline. At this stage, you'll notice that now on the external AV unit, you can see a green light flashing. What this means is the crawler has initiated an exposure but at the moment the exposure is not actually commenced. In a second we'll start the exposure and you'll see first of all the amber beacon illuminate. This indicates that the crawler is in its pre-warning period. This is the countdown before radiation is actually emitted. And then you'll see the red light come on which means that the x-ray started and radiation is being emitted. On the handset the user will then be prompted, do you want to start an exposure? It's worth noting that at any point during the next stage of this process, there was always an abort button available to the operator to stop the exposure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the exposure, watch the sequence complete. Once the sequence is completed, the crawler can then be moved to the next weld. This can either be done manually, again, by two sweeps from the rear to the front, or alternatively, the crawler incorporates a feature called AMAX, which is auto move after X-ray. After a predefined period of time, the crawler will automatically drive off and look for the next weld.